Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Wow, things are pretty tough right now. We are starving, we are freezing, we are diseased. Hopefully we're not under attack anytime soon. I think a raid would just be the nail in the coffin for us. But good news is we finally have Jay. Jay has been single-handedly uh, taking care of this entire colony. Jay has no disease. Jay is not pregnant or anything. Jay is not... Okay, I was going to say he's not freezing. Actually, he does have a little bit of hypothermia. Well, oh well. Um, but yeah, Jesus Christ, things are not going well. But we're very thankful to have Jay. Um, I think we're going to kind of canonize him into the religion as into our religion as this kind of savior figure. I think that'll be fitting for him. Um, for the time being... Our colonists are pulling through. We've got a little bit of wood stockpiled, so hopefully we're not going to be freezing in the immediate future. And it is the 2nd of April, May, which means pretty soon we'll be able to start growing. In fact, it is above freezing right now, so I'm going to say let's start sowing our plant fields. Now, I want to make sure that we have cooking for Tronka prioritized over growing. Right now, I think he has it the other way around um, because we are really behind on our cooking responsibilities. So, Tronka, I don't know why you're hunting dough right now. Let's get to cooking. Minyaka should... What is Minyaka doing right now? Vomiting? Minyaka, I need you to haul this yak when you're done vomiting. Give Tronka something to butcher and cook up. Fantastic. Now, of course, all of our colonists are moving really slowly because they're diseased. So things like Tronka being on the other side of the map, not good. We really need to be careful sending him out hunting. Of course, we, we do need the food, so maybe I can't be complaining too much. Let's see how our recruitment's doing. We went from 23.6 to 23.2. That's a change of 0 0.4 every time we try to recruit this guy. That's really low. It's going to take forever to recruit this man. Um, he has 23 recruitment. So if we say about 0.5 every time we try to recruit him. Um, yeah, that's 46, 46 recruitment attempts. And I think they do maybe two recruitment attempts per day. So that's 23 days. Might be <laughs> next winter before we actually get this guy in. Or maybe midsummer. Now, since it's not freezing anymore, I'm going to go ahead and stop refueling these campfires automatically. We do have a baby on the way, so eventually we're going to need to build the baby a new room. Now, I like keeping uh, families together in one house. So, since Traka, Minyaka, Gorilla are all family, we're going to want to add the fourth family member into the house. And I think we'll just include a little side room like this. This will be a cute little house for them. They got three bedrooms, that's all they need. Of course, we've still got um, Olga's house down here that we can finish as well, but let's be honest, Olga's so far away, we don't really need to furnish his house just yet. That would be a waste of our time and resources. I'd rather have Minyaka and Jay focused on hauling and other responsibilities and growing. Like, look at this. Thank you, Jay. Jay is a godsend. I think tomorrow, when everybody wakes up, we're going to start a role change. And I think we're going to make um, Jay into an oracle, which is kind of like a spiritual guide in our, of our religion. Because if we look at people's needs, we can see that they have a minus five penalty just because there's no oracle present in the colony. So we'll, we'll rectify that soon, for sure. All right, so it is the following morning, and I think we are going to go ahead and begin this role change. We are going to have uh, Jay. Why aren't these people participating? Extreme temperature in the ritual area. Oh, well, I guess it is below freezing in here. Okay, maybe we're gonna have to wait till it's a little warmer to do this. Okay, that's fine. I'm not heating up this room just for one ritual. I didn't realize it got so cold again. 
medical treatment needed, Minyanka. Okay, either Tronka or Jay will handle it, I'm sure. Jay's handling it. Got worms tended, quality 25%. That's huge! That's huge! Okay. Yeah, Minyanka's up to 118% total out of 300% needed to get rid of it. Uh, Tronka's doing really well too, 109% out of 300. Um, and, uh, Gorilla's doing fine, 125%. Wow. We're gonna be through these, um, muscle parasites and gut worms in no time. Now, this year, I noticed we are a little short on hay, so I'm gonna expand out our hay just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna expand out this growing zone too and this growing zone too, just to give us a little bit more room for growing. Let's see if I can do this right. There we go, perfect. We're gonna wanna make sure we have plenty enough um, food for the animals and for the humans. Uh, we are going to allow sowing here. And now that it's spring and things should start growing on the ground for grazing, we are going to select our settings and we're going to set this to priority preferred, priority normal. So that means that we're going to prefer to put hay in here and not in the main barn and anymore. Our animals can graze on whatever food is on the ground. Speaking of animals, let's make sure we don't have any extra animals that we don't need to be taken care of. Um, we have a yak for milk. We have a cow for milk. We have a whole bunch of alpacas that I think we'll let grow in the spring and the summer, and then we'll slaughter them all for a bunch of meat uh, in the winter. Perfect. Uh-oh, I see a warg poking around over here. That's not, that's not good news. They tend to like to hunt colonists for food when there's not enough animals around to hunt for food. We're actually doing all right on food now. I'm happy to happy to report. All right. We can allow sowing on all of our crop fields now. Let's check in with Gorilla's learning. Now Gorilla actually brought his learning meter back up to the high 90s, which is exactly where we want it to be. And uh, Gorilla's almost growth here too. Right now he's choosing one trait from two options, but I growth here too. Oh, great. Now he's choosing one trait from three options. And if we get up to growth here level three, we're gonna be able to choose one trait from four possible options, giving us more flexibility to shape the kind of colonists we want grow, uh, Gorilla to grow into. Looks like we are being raided by some people. Female age 40, an archer. Female age 31, an archer. Let's see, how much do we need to be worried? They're impids. Shooting skill of eight and a shooting skill of two. So Bacchus is the one we really need to prioritize taking out first. Okay, good to know. It says they're gonna prepare a while before they attack, so we're gonna let them prepare a while. We're gonna fight on our own terms when we're ready. Hopefully we can get a nice night full of sleep before we attack. At least Tronka is. I don't know what Minyaka and Jay are doing still awake. It's like 10 o'clock at night. There we go. Tronka is slaving away into the wee hours of the night. Okay, the imps are beginning their assaults, so unfortunately, it is time to begin uh, preparing. Of course, I forgot to assign Jay a bow, so that's not good, but we'll get Minyaka and Tronka ready. They're gonna want to find cover for this fight because we are going up against ranged um, attackers. So I say we hide here. And we want to target Bacchus first. So I'm going to actually put Minyaka down here. I'm going to have Tronka focus on Bacchus. 
Minyaka, I'm gonna sneak around the side. Where's Jay? Jay's here and Jay is ready to go. I'm gonna have Jay sneak around here. Minyaka, I want you to be here. Jay, I want you to be here. I'm gonna have Jay, Minyaka sneak around and take out Thathamiaz. Chaka's doing great work here. Perfect. I think we might get through this raid without taking a single injury. Perfect. Minyaka has engaged. That's exactly where we want her to be. Now we want Jade to prioritize shooting Bacchus. Okay, we want Minyaka to prioritize attacking Bacchus too. Perfect. All right. Good work, everybody. You can go back to sleep. We can pick up the bodies and the weapons in the morning. These short bows are awful. I don't even know if we want to pick them up. Maybe we just let them sit there on the ground and decompose. So it looks like a dark scholar covered with twisted scars is approaching the colony. He wants to talk. You can send a colonist to hear what he has to say. All right. Well, Minyaka is usually our, Minyaka or Jay are our social um, people. We'll go ahead and send Minyaka over. Talk to Mr. Graves. What a fitting name for, for a creepy visitor. I think this is the Anomaly DLC. He's got a surgical scar. He's got, he's got three surgical scars. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go see what he has to say. Um, maybe we wait for Minyaka to get a full night's sleep first. I don't want any of our clients having mental breaks because we keep interrupting their sleep. We can leave leave this Graves guy to wait. Okay, Minyaka is awake. She's going to have some morning breakfast. And I would like you to talk to Mr. Graves. Let's see what he has to say. Is it even a he? It is. Let's see, a dark scholar slouches in place, lifeless and silent. Only his eyes seem alive as if he could look inside you. Wow, that's kind of creepy. He says that this is where he belongs and asks to stay for a while. His tone indicates that he will not take no for an answer. Is he threatening us? Uh-oh. He is deeply knowledgeable of all things related to the void. He can study unnatural phenomena faster than others and will also teach others when he gets the chance. He may be very useful, but you also sense there's something he's not telling you. I don't like things that sound too good to be true, and this sounds too good to be true, so I'm going to send him away. It says he will not take no for an answer, so... Does that mean he's going to attack us? No. Okay, good. Perfect. There's a psychic drone, low female. I wonder if that has something to do with Graves. Very well might. He was upset that we didn't let him join the colony. Listen, man, I'm just following my intuition. My intuition says this guy's not to be trusted. He's not to be trusted. So apparently Jay's had enough and he is wandering around in a psychotic state because he's in a poor mood. This is not very becoming of our would-be oracle of the colony, Jay. We might have to reconsider putting you in that role, maybe putting somebody more controlled in that role, like Minyaka. Minyaka has very, been very stable this playthrough. I don't think we've had a single mental break from her or Tronka. Jay, this is real disappointing. That's all I can say. I'm gonna wander around in a daze for who knows how long. Bad. Oh well, there's nothing we can do about it. So it looks like um, colonists are wearing tattered apparel, which is making them sad. Tronka and Gorilla. Okay, they're wearing tattered apparel. So we go to gear. Let's see. It's the authority cap. So go ahead and drop the authority cap. Come on. That's going to be a problem. Where is Tronka? Okay, perfect. Who else has tattered apparel? Gorilla? Gorilla's wearing a poor cloth face mask. You just drop the face mask if it's going to be that much of a problem. Alright, that should solve the problem. 
and we're getting raided by the Cancer Gang, who are preparing preemptively for the attack. Looks like they're three people with clubs. We can handle three people with clubs. It would go a little smoother if we had Jay. But I think just Minyaka and Tronka can handle it. Tronka just needs to have some good shooting. Can you handle that, Tronka? We need your eagle eye. It would really be good to get Jay online here, too. At least the psychic drone is ending that's pissing off all the male colonists. Wasters from the Cancer Gang are beginning their assault. Alright. Let's do this. Minyaka and Tronka. Perfect. Nice shot. No, don't shoot the yak. Perfect. Alright, we'll send in Minyaka. Meanwhile, Tronka needs to move around here. Okay. We'll start getting ready to attack these people. Gorilla, I don't know what you're doing, but come over here. Are you serious? This guy just killing, killing kids for fun. His left leg has been destroyed. Oh my gosh. You have a one-legged kid. How dare they? Let's see if you can get a good shot on this guy. Revenge. This guy who just killed a kid for no reason. Oh my god. Minyaka, go rescue Gorilla, please. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. Tronka, okay, you're done. We're gonna need you on standby um, to treat some injuries. Jay is no longer walking in a psychotic state. Wow, thank you, Jay. Great timing there. Perfect. Right when we needed you. Not a second too late. God, this guy. I definitely don't think he's gonna get to be the Oracle anytime soon. Let's say Minyaka is our Oracle when we do this role change ceremony. This role change ceremony they might need to wait. Jay, what are you doing? I need you to extinguish these fires. Minyaka, I need you to tend to Gorilla. There goes our entire, you know, field of crops. Perfect. Is this rain I see? Oh my gosh, this rain couldn't have had better timing. Okay. Well, at least we had some rain. Alright, Jay. You can get back to work. Jesus. We have a one-legged child now. Can we give him a peg leg? We can. His left leg is destroyed. So let's add a bill. Install peg leg on his left leg. Maybe we wait, actually. I don't want this operation to go really... Mm. We need medical three on a colonist. I don't think we have medical three on any colonists. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Grill is not going to be able to walk. Who's close to medical level three? Minyaka is really close to the level, medical level 3. Okay, Minyaka, you're going to be our resident doctor until you can get to medical level 4. Medical level 3, I mean. It's a mad doe. It's attacking everyone it sees. <sighs> Again. What is with this ridiculous onslaught of bad events? Alright, Jay Tronka, shoot the doe. There you go. Okay, back to work, you two. Not a second wasted. Poor gorilla. I'm gonna say no doctoring for Jay or Tronka. I'm gonna have Minyaka focus and be our priority doctor. Because I need Minyaka to get the experience up to level 3. 
We need Gorilla to be able to walk. Medical emergency Gorilla. He has untreated wounds? I don't think he does. He's at risk. At risk of death because of severe illness. Oh, he has extreme blood loss. That's the problem. Well, I guess we have to wait for his blood loss to go down. I think it's just going down slowly over time. One patient awaits a medical operation, Gorilla. Yeah, okay, we know that. Animal starvation. Our animals are starving. Shouldn't there be stuff to graze? Okay, I think we took the hay out of here too soon. We'll set that back to priority critical. Minyaka, can you prioritize hauling this five hay? Oh, five hay's not gonna cut it. Our animals just might die. Oh boy. Starvation. Oh my gosh, our colonists are starving. Nothing is going right. Tranka and Minyaka both need tending. Minyaka, I'm sorry to do this to you, but you need to tend Tranka before you can go to bed. Don't worry, I'll have Chonk attend you when you go to bed. Oh, we need you to get your medical skill up. 2,922 out of 3,000. You're almost there. Stop barfing all over the place, Minyaka. It's disgusting. There you go. Minyaka's medical level 3. We can assign them all back to doctoring, so they can all doctor each other. But now we have Minyaka available to do this operation. Oh my gosh, Jay just fed Gorilla out of like a corpse, straight up just like biting into a dead deer. That's disgusting. What is this game, man? Tronka, it sounds like you're behind on cooking. What's happening to, to your work priorities, man? You have some butchering and cooking to do. Uh, our alpacas are dying due to starvation. Yikes. I think we need to start slaughtering any alpacas we don't need. We just need the original two. Maybe we leave this one so we can get some extra wool. But yeah, we don't need all these alpacas eating up all the food for our precious animals. Alright, Minyaka is installing a peg leg to Gorilla. Minyaka has the bare minimum required experience to do this. Oh jeez. Surgery failed on Gorilla. What does that mean that it failed? Oh my gosh, he's got two cuts. He's bleeding out. Minyaka, you need to tend to Gorilla. Fix your mistake. Wow, good thing we have all of this herbal medicine stocked up. We're gonna have to add a bill later when he's a little better healed to install a peg leg again. Hopefully Min Minyaka will be better next time. Hopefully Minyaka's getting some good medical experience out of this though. Yeah, significant. Perfect. I mean, there's only one way to learn and that's by messing up. You hope it's not messing up and learning by trial and error on your child, but you know what? It is what it is. We have some hunting, more hunting we should probably be doing. We really desperately need food. Alright. Trial, trial number two. Install left peg, peg leg. There we go. Minyaka will get on it when she's ready. Visitors? 
A group from Pact of Born are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. <sighs> if it's not food, we're not interested. We will buy all the food that you have, though. Seriously. At least Gorilla's getting real food this time and not eating straight from the corpse of a dead deer. Jesus. All right, Minyaka. When you wake up, I'm going to have you trade with these guys. Hopefully get some food from them. All right, let's let's do some trading, Minyaka. Early in the morning, first thing. What can we sell them that we don't want? Some awful short bows, sure. Some terrible clubs, sure. Um they will buy our terrible authority cap, sure. They don't have anything to s sell to us, really. Okay. Guess we'll just take the little bit of extra silver. Call it even. Alright, Minyaka. Are you going to install a peg leg on Gorilla right this time? Let's not mess this up again. Tronka, I need you to prioritize cleaning this bedroom before the surgery happens. There you go. Okay. We have a clean room ready for the surgery. Come on, gorilla. Pull through. Hey! We had a successful, we had a successful installation. So Gorilla is now one-legged. He's like a pirate. Okay, Gorilla, you're gonna grow up to be the world's best pirate. I just know it. Uh-oh. Our animals are dying of malnutrition. There's really not much we can do. At least we still have our breeding pair of alpacas. We have a male and a female. And looks like some vegetation is starting to grow in, so... Please, 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 let's not let our animals starve too much. Don't want to lose my, my bowl. Let's go to health. Can we, like, add a bill to feed him? Nope. All right, I think we should probably end the episode here. This episode has been quite the ride. Um, we're finally getting through the worst of it. You know, looks like we're almost getting our first harvest of rice and then we're not gonna be worried about starving anymore. Um, we had some bad timing for that mental break with Jay. I've lost a lot of respect for Jay. He's just stood by in a daze as his colonists were getting slaughtered. Gorilla got his, his, his leg just completely chopped, chopped off. It's horrible, horrible. But we're pulling through. We successfully installed a peg leg for Gorilla, so hopefully he'll be okay. We're getting through tending these diseases, so hopefully soon enough we'll be back, back and stronger than ever. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.